If you want to get in contact with me, the best way to do it is on Instagram. If you want to say what up, if you want to tell me you don't like my beard, if you want to tell me that you love my beard, the best way to do it is on Instagram. Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, Chris Brown is being sued, and the game shoots a new video for West Side. Plus, Big Crit announces the track list to his album. Let's talk hip-hop. Yo, so here's what's going on, right? Um, a couple months ago, Chris Brown had a party in his crib. Like, you know, Chris Brown always does. He has mad parties in his crib, right? Chris Brown is a rock star, right? He ain't no rock star because he doesn't do rock and roll. I'm using the word rock star as like a term because he's really an R&B singer. You feel me? But he lives life as a rock star. He's also kind of a rapper, but he lives life as a rock star. You know what I'm saying? But Chris Brown is rich and famous and young, and he's a fucking rock star, if you understand what I'm saying, right? So anyway, rock stars have parties, right? Whether your name is Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, Chris Brown, the baby, whatever the fuck, these people are rich, famous, and they live the good life and they have mad parties, right? And that's cool, right? So Chris Brown was having a party in his crib a couple months ago. A lot of his friends were over there. Also, a lot of things that rock stars have at their party is, you know, women, uh, drugs, uh, booze, probably a pool or something like that because that's what rock stars do, right? So it was all of that stuff. It was money, booze, hoes, a pool, drugs, whatever the fuck, right? So Chris Brown is chilling at his party, right? But there's some random girl, right? And she doesn't even want to let people know what her name is. She's going by the name Jane Doe, right? And she's at his party and she gets a little bit too fucked up, right? Because you know how it is, right? You at the party, there's a couple niggas there. They see a bad bitch. They're like, oh, what up? Hey, you want to smoke with me? She's like, yeah, cool. I want to smoke. Shit, she's smoking. Hey, you want to do some coke with me? She's like, yeah, cool. I'll do some coke. Hey, want to hit this PCP? And I know that <laughs> y'all think it's funny but dead ass that's what these niggas be doing right and a lot of times these bitches be like hell yeah they want to smoke with you they want to drink with you do you got food where's the pool because these hoes are broke but they look good as fuck and so now they get to get high for free they get to get drunk for free they get to party with stars and they might even get some famous dick at the end of the night right so all of that is mad cool and if they really really behave maybe they could get a selfie and they could post that shit online you know what i'm saying whatever right so Shorty is chilling with Chris Brown's friends, right? Not Chris Brown. Chris Brown wasn't dealing with the bitch. Chris Brown don't know the bitch. Chris Brown wasn't chilling with the bitch. She wasn't his date. She wasn't his guest. But it happened at Chris Brown's place because you know it's mad people there right so she's getting a little too drunk a little too high she's chilling with chris brown's friends or they could just be associates or they could be the niggas that he chills with every other month but they came through to the house party whatever the case may be but long story short is that she ended up getting sexually assaulted like i don't want to use a quotation uh when i say sexually assaulted because maybe shorty got straight up raped you know what i'm saying and because she was incapacitated somebody took advantage of her right and that is messed up and that's wrong right um so you know basically what she's doing is she's suing chris brown for some reason because she's saying that it happened at his party right not that she's pressing charges against the person she thinks raped her not that she's you know calling the police to do x y and z but she's just suing chris brown because she feels like she was taken advantage of and that since it was his place that he basically, since he had a party or whatever, facilitated that to happen, right? So literally, it seems like she wants money out of the situation and not really justice, right? So now the girl is asking to have Chris Brown's cell phone gone through, you know, by, I don't know, the prosecutors or whatever like that, but this is not a criminal case, so there are no prosecutors, right? The But she wants the judge, I guess, to look through Chris Brown's cell phone so that she can see what kind of messages and phone calls he was sending in and receiving during that night to see if he knew what was going on or if he was down with it or whatever the case may be, right? And Chris Brown is like, hell no, y'all not looking through my cell phone, right? They 
was like, we want to walk through your home, right? And Chris Brown said, sure, fine, you can walk through my home. Have at it. So they did that, right? Um, they want to sit down with Chris Brown and interview him and, and go through his account of what happened that night. Okay, cool. He sat down. He did that. Chris Brown was fully cooperating with these motherfuckers, by the way, right? And now... She's like, yo, I want y'all to go through his cell phone. And he's like, nah, hell nah, why? So she can get phone numbers and names and addresses of my family members and close associates that I know are within the business? Like, fuck no. And I understand, right? And it really probably seems like this girl is trying to snoop around, get a lot of information, and then get uh, Chris Brown's money too. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, you know, just a side note, I mean, I guess, like, Chris Brown, like is super like famous and you just gotta i guess maybe just and it sucks that you have to just be alone or just chill with a small circle of people or not have a cool blowout party or something like you like to do because there's people that want to victimize you bro niggas come to your house and they're like oh hell yeah how can i get a, a meal ticket off of this you know i'll get drunk and get fucked and say i didn't want to get fucked even though i you know what i'm saying and, and blame it on the nigga just because it's his but whatever man um and i don't want to victim blame but i'm just just saying like you feel me right um let me know what y'all think about this in the comments down below but this looks fire right okay so obviously i think that the game probably had like mad fun recording this video right so this is a video for well behind the scenes of a video for um west side right with uh the game right and this is dope because it seems like they was out there like in the middle of the desert like they're like on four wheelers or like on buggies or whatever like that um they got like this army gear on uh it looks like basically it looks like a, a hip-hop version of like mad max or something like that right and that's dope because the last nigga that did like a mad max video was like tupac right and so if the game is like literally like emulating like his inner tupac then this shit is gonna be fire, right? Um, so Aaron Green directed the video, right? So that's cool. And uh, he had like mad people in this shit too. So he had um, Jackie Long in the video. All I'm gonna say is Chuck, this is gonna be the number one video. Cause all the shit I just did, this shit better be number one. I'm gonna fuck your ass up if you call my phone again. Talk about being in the video and ain't number one. This number one, y'all. This nigga is funny, right? So like, he's like an actor, like slash comedian, right? And the the where I like really remember seeing him at was like on um Real Husbands of Hollywood or whatever with like Kevin Hart, right? So he was like on that shit, right? I think he was like on ATL or something too, and a couple other things, Idlewood or whatever like that. But this nigga is funny as hell, right? And he's like, yo, the game. He's like, yo, this video better be number one. The shit you just had me do it, and this nigga looked like he's sweating. I mean, this is dope. It looks like they hot as hell. It looks like they in the desert. It looks like they running around like some fools. Um, and I know like the game, he dropped his track list for this shit, right? And I think Dave East is going to be on the album with him. And so Dave East is in the video too. Dave East had more classic on the nigga. Outlaw vibes, nigga. Question is though, right? Is Davies gonna be on that song or is he gonna be on another song, right? So we don't know, right? So all we know is that the game released his R&B features or his singing features um, for the album. And he didn't even say like, yo, Ed Sheeran is gonna be on the song named blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, Miguel is gonna be on the song called blah, blah, blah. Like he didn't even do that. He was just like, yeah, Ed Sheeran, Trey Songz, Miguel, and another nigga that I forgot their name right now, right? Um, Tank or I don't know or Chris Brown Chris Brown right so here's the thing though right here's the track list right so this track list up here I think right up here um, is the track list that the game kind of you know I guess is working with like in his office right let me move over a little bit so y'all can like really see the track list right so this is a leak okay um but we don't know first of all on here as you guys can see it doesn't say anything about any features or at all at all right um and it has 20 songs on this number one is like putting down my nines and parentheses it says swizz right i don't know what that means is are you talking about swiss beats is going to produce that you know black dollar swizz still compton swizz gucci flip-flop swizz right um she's uh rich or rich and or whatever i can't even read his handwriting really do 
Duke, right? West Side, number six, DWP, right? And so that's the video for, um, that's the video that he's shooting right now with, you know, uh, Aaron Green and Dave East and Jackie Long is West Side, right? So, uh, you know, Dave East could be in the song, right, with the game or uh, maybe not, right? We don't know. So here's the thing, right? It seems like the game is saying like he's going to be like the uh, the hero of this. And he's like, yo, somebody got to save the world. And then you see Dave East is there. So Dave East is probably like the villain, right? And I don't know if they're going to meet up in the middle of the desert and just have like a, a fight or, or what. But this is going to be dope and fun. Um, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments down below. Joe, so Big Crit is dropping, right? And soon, man. So he released the track list for this, and there's no fucking date where, like, the exact date when he's dropping, but he's got to be dropping like Friday, right? Which is, I don't know, what day is Friday, right? Tomorrow, I don't, I don't know, nigga. I don't know. Maybe he's dropping Friday. Who knows, right? But anyway, so he just dropped the track list for this, right? We already seen the video for Crit here, right? And that video was crazy in the middle of the video where he had like the slave auction and he was selling off like a bunch of different rappers and the rappers that the more ignorant the rapper was, the more baby mamas the rapper has, the more kids and chains the rapper has, the more money they go for, the more conscious or, you know, educated they are, the less the rapper goes for, right? And so in the auction, the slavery auction, Big Crit auctioned off himself too, and he went for like, I think $12 or, or something like that, like, oh, $70, right? $71, right? Which was cool, right? Um, so anyway, now he releases a track list to Crit is here, right? And this is fire, man. He got some uh, some people on here, right? So Big Crit, um, Crit here, number one. That's the single, so we know that shit, right? Um, high End, High End Country. Um, that's an interlude, uh, Ben Way In. Um, I Make It Easy. Addiction, he got Lil Wayne and Saweetie on here, so this is cool. Um, and I think that, I don't know, man, because I heard another song with Lil Wayne and Saweetie, but I feel like it was like, Kid Ink or somebody on the song. And to be honest with you, I like Kid, uh, I like when Lil Wayne and Saweetie, you know, do songs together for some reason. They both bring like a flavor to that shit. And it's weird because she's brand new and also has nothing to do with cash money or young money or anything like that. But just Lil Wayne and Saweetie together is dope. So I like the way that um, Big Crit said, all right, let me get both of them together on this song with me too. You know what I'm saying? Um, Number six is Energy. Uh, seven, Obvious with uh, Rico Love. And Rico Love is a great producer. Um, he kills the hooks. I mean, that song Obvious is probably going to be dope. And also uh, Bashing Women because that's the type of shit he <laughs> right here. Um, I Made featuring Yellow Beezy. Hell yeah, yo. Um, Every Time featuring Baby Rose. Uh, Believe, uh, Prove It featuring J. Cole out this motherfucker, right? Family Matters, Blue Flame Interlude and then Blue Flame Ballet. Um, then learn from Texas, even though he's from Mississippi, um, outer space, uh, high beams featuring Wolf, um, love in the sun featuring camper. And then M I S S I S S I S S I P P I. You know what I'm saying? Like Mississippi, nigga. Um, that's it, <laughs> but it's like spelled out. You know what I'm saying? So whatever. Right. Um, dope cool man i'm looking forward to big crit dropping this album because he hasn't dropped the album in like maybe two years since like 2017 right so it's time for some big crit music and i honestly think like with this album and this push right here i feel like big crit is gonna gain like a whole lot newer fans um and have like a whole nother like i guess resurgence in his career with this album right here like whenever it drops like the way that he's setting it up boom 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 i feel like big crit is about to knock shit down with this album but we'll have to wait and see let me know what y'all think about this in the comments down below don't forget to like comment share subscribe make sure y'all hit that notification bell follow me at johnny fastlane on instagram and y'all already know what to do peace